In this video, we are discussing average map reduce. Now, what is average map reduce? So, in this problem, we will use comments.xml. So, we are having another XML there, that is the comments.xml. And this comments.xml file will be used in this average map reduce. Using comments, we will count the number of comments posted on each user for each user and also find the average length of their comments. So that means it will count the number of comments made by each user and the average length of the comment. So that will get calculated here. So here also the key is the user ID and the values are average comment length. So that will be the output we will be going to get. So let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept. So here we are implementing the uh, average count MR task which is falling under the summarization design pattern comments.xml under the folder slash input slash comments so under this folder this comments.xml is a file which is our input file so uh, let us see that what is the current content of this comments.xml we are having a huge content it is xml file so we are having a huge content but here we have shown a part of that so under the comment tags, we are having the row tags and row is having ID, the post ID, the score and the respective comment, whatever he or she has made, the respective uh, creation date and also the user ID. So these are the fields are there under the row tag. In this way, we are having several such row tags are there under this comment, under this comments tag. So this is our contents of comments.xml. So here we are going to have our two Java programs. One is the average count data dot Java and another one is the average count MR task dot Java. So in case of average count uh, data implements the writable implements the writable interface. It is having the constructor and there is the average count data. It is having some getter and setter methods and two methods are also there. One is the read fields and another one is the write fields. The member variables are here the comment count and the average length. So these are to the member variables and within the constructor we have initialized them. These are the respective getter and setter methods that is a get comment count, get average length, set comment count, set average length. We are having the read fields, write and also we have overwritten the method that is to string. So this average length you, you are finding here you are just initializing that one in the set average length. In the average count MR task, which is the main uh, Java file here, which is having uh, the respective uh, mapper, which is having one inner class that is the average count mapper, which is uh, implement or that is inheriting the mapper uh, class, and also we are having the reducer class has got uh, inherited by average count reducer. So within this uh, average count mapper, we are having the uh, text type of that is op user id and the average count data objects are there two member variables and also we have overriding the map method xml to map is one method we have written which will be converting this xml content to the hash map type so it is calculating the X xml key and so on so that xml uh, to map the method whatever will be returned will be kept in xml parsed and xml parts dot get user id xml parts dot get text that will be kept in user and comment text so within the try block we have just initialized this set comment count as one set average length will be the uh, comment text dot length so initially the, it will be uh, initialized and then um, op user id dot set user and then we are con writing the context that is the op user id and the ob op average count value so these two values will be written as a key value pair on the context so that it has been kept within the try block in the reducer we are having this uh, this reducer class has been inherited by average count reducer which is overriding the method reduce here which is overriding the method reduce we are having the comment count is equal to zero and comment length sum is equal to zero also so in the average count data, uh, for each average count data into values, we're just writing comment count plus equal to data dot get comment count. So comment count will get increased. And also the uh, count length sum will be increased by the data dot get average length into the data dot comment count. So comment count and the average length will be multiplied and that will, the product thus obtained will increase the count length sum. 
and then we are just setting we are using the set methods that is the set uh, comment count and set average length so with these values we will be uh, going for the set and there is a count uh, length sum by uh, comment count and that we are going to write as a key value pair onto the context so also we have discussed this uh, xml to map already we have discussed so and you know that in this way we are having the main method here the main method requires two arguments so if two arguments have not been passed so it will cause some error and it will exit system exits two and then if it first argument will be accessed as AR, args zero and the second argument will be accessed as args one so that will initialize the that will take the uh, file input format and the file output format so that will be kept and the set mapper and the set reducer class will be initialized accordingly whatever you have discussed whatever you have uh, discussed earlier that is inheriting the mapper and the reducer class and then we'll be going for job dot set output key and then job dot set output value class so these two uh, values will be updated and then depending upon the success the exit 0 or exit 1 will take place so it will uh, it will be the boolean one there so now let my let me go for the execution of these two uh, java classes so before going we shall create the jar file so how to create just uh, on this particular package name go for right button click and then go for um, export and then jar then we shall be giving the proper name and the folder and then we shall go for next and finish but already we have created the jar so I'm not going to finish that steps but these are the steps to be followed let me show that how the um, command has to be issued so Hadoop jar there is a map reduce uh, design pattern jar files is a respective folder and then summarization patterns dot jar and then we are having the average count that is a package name and then average count MR tax is the respective class name and then uh, under the input comments within this folder we will be having the input file that is comments.xml and slash output will be the output folder on in which the part files will be will be uh, created after the running of this command so let us run this command at first I'm not finding the success here so I think the name node is uh, name node server is now in the safe state so let me make it come out from the safe state so will be for the name node will be I'm going to retrieve the name node getting out from the safe state so the command will be how to there is a DFS admin then minus safe mode then leave so now I think uh, it is okay now let me execute the command once again so if I get success then under the output folder the parts file will be created which will be containing the respective output yes we have got the output file created so let me check here so comments.xml is input uh, input for folder was there and now we are going for the output folder and there we are getting this part hyphen r hyphen zero so here is a part file only a single file part file has got created so here the output has been stored so let me go for the console back again and let me go for the SDFS command with minus cat option to see this to look at this part file content so slash output is a path name and then part star so all the files starting with the part its content will be printed so there is a respective content of the part file we're having the ID then we're having the comment count and how many comments he or she has made and then we'll be having the average comment length so 44 to 2.5 is the comment length so in this way you are finding a rest of the files content rest of the uh, content of the uh, part file so let me delete this output folder because the other MapReduce programs will be accessing the same folder there so let me delete that one it is not mandatory but for the next uh, execution so this is a delete command 